Next question is from Nate Brown Fit. How do I increase grip strength so I can deadlift more? You know, I we get a lot of remarkably, and maybe I guess it's not surprising anymore because it's been happening so so often. But we get a lot of questions on grip strength. I and I didn't see strength. that coming. But when we started yeah. this business, I'll never forget when you made that that yeah, forearm video. Yeah, when Sal made that video on YouTube, we were giving him grief. About I it. did. Like, I thought it was really stupid. I'm not gonna lie. I really thought who is gonna be searching for forearm and yeah. you know, grip strength shit. Can we yeah. please preface this? Uh, YouTube, uh, bef you know, this clickbait YouTube that we're doing right now <laughs> before that we all agree that nothing is going to develop forearms better than just lifting some heavy ass weight. Yeah. And I guess maybe just the type of clientele I had, or I don't re remember a lot of clients ask me that, but maybe this is, and maybe that's because we, we tend to attract people that are already into fitness and working out that this is something that well, someone's been training for a while and they find that this is yeah. a, a, a lagging. Well, there's two things, two reasons I would, these are my two guesses. One is, um, especially if you're doing heavy pulling and deadlifting, and you're you don't work in construction. You're not. You're just a normal person. Which th these days that means you do nothing that's physical, really, in your everyday life. Then you go start working out, and you have the weakest grip, and that mm -hmm. becomes the weakest link. Mm -hmm. So then you're like, oh my god, what what can I do to strengthen my grip? The other reason I think is because, for the most part, if you're a man, um, the muscle that might show is your forearms and hands. And you ask any woman, and she'll say she checks out a man's hands and forearms. And can tell if he's fit or strong from that. So it's something that's also uh, attractive. But anyway, <laughs> what I wanted to talk about were exercises because a lot of people don't know grip training exercises. They're not vi very common. I mean, mm -hmm. we all know hold on to a bar as long as you can. Okay, that's great. That's one way to do it. Farmer walks. Okay, that's another way to do it. But really what you want to do, because when you're holding something for time, it's an isometric exercise. And mm -hmm. the best way to train isometrics is to train them in different ranges of motion. Okay, so... To give a different example, if I trained isometrics in squats, I wouldn't just hold the squat at the bottom. That would be one way to do it, but then I would do one where I'm a little higher and one where I'm a little higher and maybe one where I'm real low. So I'm kind of doing an, isometri an isometric in different ranges of motion. You could do this with your grip as well. So you have the bar circumference, you can use that. And then what you could do is you could use a plate where you pinch it with your fingers like this, or you pinch it with your fingers like this, or you take a thick towel you wrap it around the bar, so now you have to take a really wide grip. Or you wrap a towel around a pull-up bar and see if you can hang with your grip like this. So essentially, the key is to train your grip in different ranges of motion from wide to narrow to pinch grip to where maybe even where you're holding just with two fingers. And I borrowed a lot of this from the what I consider to be the people with the most, uh, I guess, well-developed and balanced grips in the world, which are rock climbers. If mm -hmm. you rock climbers have uh, maybe not necessarily the strongest grips, but they have the most balanced strength in their grips where they can, if you watch a really good rock climber, they can, they can do the craziest positions with their hands, with their hands way out here, or just one finger gripping or real narrow or inside cracks. And their hands are so versatile. And if you look at the way they train their hands, it's through all these different positions and ranges of motion uh, that that they use. Cool. So that's what I would. That's those are the, those are the ways I would say train your grip best. I did want to bring this up, and this is something that I've kind of been holding on to. Uh, you know, Jim Smith, Smitty from mm. oh, yeah. Uh, yeah from DeFranco and CPPS. Uh, you know, went out of his way and wrote us a, a really amazing uh, grip strengthening and grip testing uh, manual. Uh, and actually in it, he goes into like thorough detail. And so there's like a couple different categories that he classifies some of these different exercises and techniques. And one of them is crush, pinch, support, levering, and then he gets into hand health. Yeah. And so, you know, there's That's great. And so it, it, it goes into all those different techniques, you know, when to apply them and then, you know, how to kind of test out and also the, the cool, uh, heart rate variability aspect of testing your grip, uh, before you get into working out just to test your stress levels as well. So that, that, is this, this, this going to be included in the next program that we release? Is that the plan with this? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's what we're going to work out is, is definitely we're going to be releasing this attached with uh, a product that yeah. we're going to put out. Yeah. Now, uh, is, now we talked about grip, but w when you talk about grip, you can't leave out the forearm. So the forearm, yes, it has the muscles that close and open the hand, 
but it also has the muscles that flex and extend the wrist and also uh, go laterally. Right. So this is all the levering. Part yeah. So if you strengthen the grip, that's great. But also, don't ignore exercises that curl the form or extend the form, and also exercises where you're working this kind of laterally with the forearms. All of that contributes to a really well-developed, strong grip. I also don't want us to miss the simple answer, too, which is simply just deadlifting more will help this. Like, I, I've done a lot of the almost everything that we just have talked about and have seen definitely gains in my grip strength from all the things we're talking about. But one of the, the, the greatest differences I ever saw was when I, when I was chasing after Sal with a deadlift, I had never deadlifted at that high of a frequency um, and volume. It'll build over, your grip. That's for sure. And I just, yeah. the, the forearms came up because I was always practicing the deadlift, right? I was, and then part of practicing the deadlift all the time included like the axle bar every mm -hmm. once in a while, included mm -hmm. heavy singles and doubles, included higher reps sometimes. And just because I was constantly gripping that bar and deadlifting with that bar all the time, my forearms got yeah. a lot stronger, especially for that specific exercise, yep. because there's a difference in saying like just getting overall forearm or grip strength yep. that is applied to all the these different things, but if it's specifically because I'm having a hard time holding onto the bar mm -hmm. for deadlifting, you know, one of the most simple things you could do is to just deadlift totally. more. And the sure. other thing too with the forearms, and this is just my own anecdote or experience, is they respond really well to frequency. So often, like lots of frequent yes. training, not at super high intensity. So and scale yourself. So don't just jump into this because you will get soreness in your elbows. You'll get tennis elbow or what's the other one called golfer's elbow or whatever. Um, so, but you can get those hand grippers they are really cheap and just kind of play with them throughout the day. Try not to overdo it, but frequency, you know, as you build up to it, man, like, like, you know, I've, I've used, I've talked about my dad before he's worked since he was a kid with his hands and his hands are so they're, they're freakishly strong and hard. I'll never forget once he was, we, we were at jujitsu and he's a 50 something year old man. And he's going against this big Canadian pro football player. And they were going. And my dad's got a judo background. so And I remember they broke grips. And my, this was the whole class burst out laughing. Couldn't believe what happened. My dad's 180 pounds at the time. And this guy's like 320 pound dude, big dude. He reached out to grab my dad's gi. And my dad literally grabbed his hand and crushed it. And the guy tapped out. <laughs> and he was like, what the hell did you just do to me? And we were dying of laughter that this old man... Could crush his yeah, head to make him, make him Just tap like out. Shirt, huh? That's right. And it, so it, it, the frequency, right? That's what it came from. Him working with his hands for his whole life yep. developed just that that iron grip. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe. <laughs>